see we've just left Harlem if you look at the map and uh, we've got another about a 15 kilometer drive to get to Muschent. Now what's interesting about this road is this piece between Harlem and Muschent is that you'll be crossing the border between the Western Cape and the Eastern Cape. Interesting. Yes. So Muschent is in the Eastern Cape? Yes. Didn't know that. Ongelegen. Yeah. Okay. It's not well gelegen, it's ongelegen. Ongelegen. <laughs> Is this a farmstead, you think? I think so. Oh, definitely a farmstead. Oh, okay, ongelegen. Right. Big setup. Major. You see, they've rolled their netting up, or they must still unfurl it but to there's, cover. There's no fruit on those trees, so I think they were rolled it up to pick. Okay. Big place. Big organization. Um, we need to turn in here. Boerkoga. Yes. I don't think you know why I say so just yet. This road yeah, was also closed. Also, yeah. There's a little buckwind baking oven. Yes. I can't believe it still has its little door. That's fantastic. It's yes. nice that they're fixing it up again. Yeah. Is um, these apple farms are, are big operations, eh? Massive. See, they're milling about there with crates and stuff. We came driving down here and we saw this sign on in the station and the tracks come down and right where we stopped we didn't know the tracks cross over the road if you look like this there it goes they tied right over it Yeah, you can, if you look in the tar, you can see the marks where the tracks are underneath.
and there the tracks go that way. Unreal. I can just imagine like 40 years ago, 50 years ago, how busy this little place must have been in the picking season. The train stopping over to pick up all the apples to take them through to Port Elizabeth. Just like the big truck we saw passing now with crates full of apples. Yes. So the tracks have crossed the road now and on that side headed to the next farm the old clip hotel country store and we are crossing over from the western cape into the eastern cape cool Look, i feel the difference <laughs> look at this building this is a must stop for sure welcome to the eastern cape Coffee, breakfast, lunch, goodies and gifts. Um, oh no. They are closed. Okay. How sad. This was a beautiful place. Well, I think it's, I don't know, must be seasonal. It says there Monday to Friday 9 till 5, Saturday and Sunday 9 till 4, but then T-H-U-E is closed. I don't know what that means. I think it might be Tuesday, yeah. which was yesterday, but maybe they closed for another reason. Never because know, of eh? season, you say? Or? Yeah, possible. It's such a beautiful building. Yeah, and these must be the rooms. Yes. Oh, it would have been nice to have some brunch there. Yes. Okay. We find another place. Welcome to Longcliffe. Interesting. Mishunt Aerial Firefighting Runway. Yeah. That's very cool, hey? And how are these guys picking up papers next to the R62? Oh, that's fantastic. I don't think we often see that. No, you don't. So we've already arrived in Mishunt? Yes, this is Mishunt. There is a church. I can see the church from here. Fantastic. Hey, look at the Miskin sign. Here we go. Nice. Have you ever heard of Miskin before? No, none of these towns. doubt about what they do here. <laughs> no more. And we thought the Elgin area was Apple uh, We did, hey? Miskind Orchards, J. Baldy and Sons, Blue Line, established 1904. What do you think Blue Line means? <sighs> Maybe it's their, their brand name. Might be, hey? Yeah. 1904 is pretty long ago. Yep. So apple orchards, no doubt. Most likely. Apples and pears. Springbok General Dealer, also known as the Springbok Cafe. I wonder what they have inside there. Not Springbok. 
<laughs> we had one of uh, those in Strand, Springbok Cafe. Yes, we did. Yeah. Mm. They sell apples and pears, amongst other things. That's for sure. We always forget about the poor pears. Yeah. Can we please look at the petrol pump as a little roof? Yes. <laughs> we stood outside saying, wonder what's inside the Springrock General Dealer. And it's definitely a General Dealer. So what does it look like inside? Like a typical General Dealer. Old school general dealer. They've got everything inside there. <laughs> I take my hat off to these guys. They walk great distances. Yeah, eh? and they keep the place clean. Eh? Wow. So we've decided my camera's battery needs to be charged. So we are going to stop here and we've got a lot of leftover pizza from last night. So we're going to stop and have a bit of a car picnic. Fantastic. <laughs> Let's do it. So our tummies are full. We've finished eating now. And now we can explore Muskant further. Yes. EC, Eastern Cape Kokama Municipality. And it's drizzling. Sly little drizzle, eh? Southern, Southern. fruit grows. Okay. Nice. Huh. Mm, pretty sight. Sure. Love this green with that um, house with a red roof. Love yeah, that. It's pretty. That was the church. Yes. It's quite a prominent building. Yeah. I saw it from far as we were approaching. Oh, that was very high. Should I go in here? Yes. Done. Yeah. I like that. Interesting, eh? Got the church bell. Incredible, nineteen sixty-three. Wow, that's solid brass, eh? Crazy.
no cornerstone. And the memory wall. To me as well, like a police station, courthouse, magistrate's place, I don't know. I want to say prison, but probably not, right? No, I don't think it's a prison, but it looks very... It does look official though, eh? Yeah, it looks as if it was an important building yeah. back in the day. Wow, is it? Totally unoccupied by the looks of it, eh? Yeah, totally. Um, well, I mean, it, there is decay, but it's standing. Yep. I'm always happy for that. It would be interesting to know what that was. We've asked a few locals here, but no one can tell us what the original purpose of that building was. Yeah, it sounds like it was like a gaming thing at one stage where they played pool and stuff. Inside, yes, but, but um, that wasn't the original. No, no. I don't think it looks as if it was built in the 1800s and they knew about pool back then. So we'll see if we find someone else who perhaps does know. Yes. Look at this. Be a prison, eh? <laughs> Burgers. Phew. Rough going here. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> oh, it's a fire truck. Cute. That's massive, eh? The tree was completely unrooted. Yeah. Onto the roof. Onto the roof. The roof stopped it. Yeah. Wow. Oh. In some storm. Must be. Okay. They must have had some strong winds over here because this roof is totally lifted broke those wooden pieces of the trusses right off. Yep. And the same with this tree. Yeah, definitely some windstorm. Check, this one is also, uh, uh, they've cut it down already. Cut oh, their wow. branches off. So they must have had some mega storm, yeah. Just to go back uh, 15 meters. That a root system. That's a root system, yeah. I've never seen that before. Hmm. It looks like this happens regularly with this type of tree, probably. Oh, it looks like it, eh? Maybe it reaches a certain age and then it just lets go. It's 
lunchtime now. So we asked the teachers at the nursery school about that building. Yes. And they pointed us to a gentleman here at the Fairview place. Yes. But the office and everything is now closed because it's lunchtime. Everyone is gone. Probably for an hour at least. That's for sure. So we'll see what we... But, but they say it was a shock first. Yeah. And before that, our feeling was that it was a, a farmhouse. I think it was something major because it's beautiful. <laughs> I first thought it was um, something more official than that. Yes. But you say the satellite image shows um, a whole farmstead. Yeah. Listen, they're all having lunch here yes. in the orchard. I love it. These are pears. Wow. Oh, no. Okay. okay. They have those red cheeks. I don't know what they're called. Red cheek pears. <laughs> now I can see the pears clearly. Yeah. The weather does seem to be changing a little. Oh, there's uh, no blue left in the sky. No blue. And there's no information online about Mischint. Yeah, I can't find anything. Other than um, it's a Dutch name, which means begrudged. I can't find anything about the history. Oh, look at those trees. Babe. The trees are incredible. Yeah, did you just see this one tree that we passed now? Yes. Incredible. Mine is more incredible. <laughs> yeah, amazing trees, eh? Look at those branches. Really quite an old tree that. Yeah. I love it. That's a giant bonsai. Cape 5 and Fairview. Loading the apples and pears on the truck. That's incredible, eh? Cool to see. Yeah. And there's an interesting church too. Yep. The church has got a lighthouse vibe. Yeah, it does. With the bellies it looks like a lighthouse. School is out. Yep. Look here. There's the tracks. There we go. We knew we will find them again. Yeah. I wonder where they go to. <laughs> Tracks. Maybe we can find the station where the old station was. Oh, it's going to be difficult with yeah. all the children. I think we turn around and we go in the opposite direction, we're going to find the station. Okay. Right. We've picked them up. Yep, there we go. They are very close together, eh? Hey? Yeah. Don't you just wish you can see it come chugging along? Oh, it would be amazing. even had steel sleepers back in the day. There we go. You think we're getting somewhere? I think we're giving, getting somewhere, definitely getting somewhere. That's the 
lever they pull to change the lanes. Oh, I see. <laughs> or change the tracks, not the lanes. Yes. Your side too? Yes, look there. How does that work? Oh, that's where those levers that they pull to change the track. You train can go this side or this side. Oh, okay. And this is most probably where they loaded the apples onto the box cars. Must have been somewhere there at the back, I'd yeah. say. This is really interesting. There's a third set of tracks on that side. Yeah, I see lots of tracks here. Lots of tracks. And these must have been buildings, railway buildings. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, with three tracks. Cool. Very cool. have stored all the apples in their crates and then when the train came in they loaded them onto the box cars and off they went. Don't forget the pears. And the pears, sorry. I'm glad we found the Miskin station. What else does Miskin have to offer? Well let's go and have a look. There's the dam. Pretty, eh? Very. A lot of water. Looks cool. It does, eh? This looks cool. Look at this. This is nice. This was a church. Really? Stop? Yes. Got the little bell tower. So this must have been a church, or it is a church. Yeah, there's no indication. No. Whether it still functions as one, I don't know. Look at this cute house next to it. Yes. That's inhabited. Yeah. This must have been pretty, eh? Yeah, I think it must have been a, a feature. A rock garden, like you said. It's really pretty. Can you picture it with nice flowers? And yeah, I can, actually. The workers are coming back from lunch. Yes. <laughs> Fully laden with apples. Look at that. Is it? Yeah. Oh, yes. <laughs> apples, ladders, and people. Yep. And here comes another one. 
and it's drizzling quite heavily Fool, check that he's chowing an apple while he's driving <laughs> <laughs> But you have to pick up with. How perfect is that? Yeah. They continue no matter what the weather. Yeah, no. Rain or shine, they got to do it. The apples keep on getting ripe. They don't stop when it's raining. Nope. <laughs> and this is where they come and park to have their apples loaded, taken into the shed. And I suppose that's where they get packed. Yes, I'm sure. You can smell the fruit, eh? Can you? Yeah. Yeah, now I can. The tractor's pulling there and he removes the full crates of apples. And then he puts empty crates back on the trailers of the tractors so that they can go back to the orchards and pick more apples. So there the one goes now. It's got just empty crates on. And the next tractor is going to pull in there now with full crates. Okay, so I want to see what happens now. Three full ones at least. Yeah. Maybe these aren't all the way full. Now he's going to go get other empty ones and put them on the trailer. Grain or pussy. Is that what it says? Yes. Now that he's taking a full one off. Okay, so grain or Percy has been at the forefront of delivering outstanding premium fruit juice concentrates to the fruit juice markets, both locally and internationally. Okay, there he's packed them right on the other side there. So someone else I think with a forklift is going to take those and take them inside the building. Okay. There, there, that guy comes with his forklift now. Oh, another forklift. Whoa, cowboy. There, he's taking the full ones now. So they say they currently process approximately 280,000 tons of fruit wow see he's taking the oh, full yeah. ones into the, the inside warehouse the warehouse now. yeah oh. how many thousand 280,000 tons of which 75 percent is citrus with apple pear guava and mango contributing to the rest wow that's interesting yeah eh? so there the next tractor pulls in all right all these crates are full and can I just say, SFG stands for Southern Fruit Growers, okay. Fresh Fruit Producers and Exporters. So there's a whole lot of them now. Look at the row of tractors that have pulled in with all these apples and yeah, pears. Yeah, lunchtime is over. We're yep. picking again. Yep. Cool stuff. Mm -hmm. That was so interesting. Yeah, very interesting. We know how an apple packing plant works. <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> huh? Very nice. Leaving Mishunt in the rain. In the rain, so I've got to do it through the windshield, otherwise the camera lens gets all gobbly and wet. But I must tell you, very interesting to see how they do the apple packing and stuff, eh? Yes, and uh, it was great seeing a pear orchard for the first time. Um, Love that. It's just a, I think it's just a big working farm. That's it. Miskant is Miskant. a big working farm. That's is my the impression yeah. that we got. Definitely. Was a good visit.